What's up, Thabu fam, and welcome back to my channel. How are my boos doing? It is Friday, the birds are chirping, there's not a cloud in the sky, and it's a perfect day to film this video because it is that time of the month, your girl needs to get her nails done. As you guys know, I just graduated a couple months ago. I'm back in LA now, I'm so happy here. I just got my new apartment. I have been organizing for a month straight, you guys. I've been trying to make sure that it looks perfect for you guys, my family. I wanted to maximize the amount of places that I could film. My studio is not done yet, but it is almost done and it's looking good. So let's talk about this trend that has been lingering on around the tube. People are going to the best and the worst rated nail salons in their area and I needed to try this. Getting my nails done for me is very, very important. Like if I'm blessed with a daughter, I'm always gonna teach her to have her nails done. I think it's such a clean look. And when I see someone who has their nails done, it just looks like their life is a lot more together than it probably really is. So the nail salon for me is a very near and dear place to my heart. Since I just moved back, I'm like in a new area. So I haven't found like a nail salon that's like my go-to OG salon. This is the time of the week where I just get to get my coffee. I just want to chill. I want to have a good experience. I'm not super picky when it comes to my nails, but I'm paying 60 or 70, 80, like kind of depends on where you're going. But with tip, I'm usually spending around $80. So that's a lot of money that you're spending on your nails. And obviously you want your experience to be good. So I've heard this phrase a million times and it is you get what you pay for. And in some cases, I'm sure that that's true. However, I've been through many experiences in my life. Like let's say for example, when it comes to nail salons and you definitely don't need to be spending the big bucks to get a good manicure and a good pedicure. It really just depends what salon you're going to. And more importantly, the actual person who's doing your nails. Like I've been to a salon multiple times in a row where some experiences have been jacked and the other experiences have been really good. All right. So I've chosen two salons today that I'm going to go to. The first one is going to be the worst rated one and the second one is going to be the best rated one I'm not going to name the names of either of these two salons because my job is not to bash anyone and honestly At the end of the day guys, these are businesses. These are people who are working hard So my intention is not to shame anyone or make fun of anyone or hurt anybody's business This is just for fun so I can give my booze the tea. All right, so I'm about to leave to the first nail salon Honestly, I'm nervous and by the way I'm just gonna have one salon for one hand and the other salon is gonna do the other hand which will be very interesting to ask for uh, maybe they think it's normal maybe they'll think it's really weird but we'll see okay so I am on my way to the first nail salon I'm really freaking nervous because I checked the reviews on Yelp and girl they were really bad like I'm just gonna be honest there were hundreds of reviews on this nail salon and I'd say 98% of them said the exact same thing the people were really rude um, they cut them like with the cuticle little cutter thingy this one girl said that she was like hit by one of the people that worked there, like she kept hitting her hand, telling her to like put it back in, but like very aggressively. Another girl said that she felt like the whole staff was talking bad about her. So I called both nail salons to try and make an appointment. This nail salon, which is the worst rated one, it didn't even pick up and the number didn't even ring, um, which it could just be like a glitch maybe or something, but usually the nail salon always picks up, right? Or I don't know, I don't know. They did pick up so I'm on my way there probably is gonna make me late to my other appointment because oh another thing that they said was that they make them wait 30 minutes even when they do have an appointment so I will catch you guys when I'm there and wish me luck okay guys I'm about to walk in reporting to you live okay there was a parking lot which was very convenient by the way I thought I'd just pop a picture up right now of what I'm asking for um, just like a round tip French tip. I thought I'd choose something that's a little bit more than just like a regular color um, I thought choosing French tip would make things a little interesting Hi. Do you guys have time for a manicure? Yeah, uh, just regular Okay, I think that was one of the weirdest experiences at a nail salon that I've ever had. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you guys the tea from the moment I walked in, what happened. I feel like there was so many things happening at once that like, I don't know, I felt like a spy, it was so weird. Okay, 
I walk in and I immediately see a lady that's like yelling at the girl saying that last time you charged me $25 and now you're charging me $35. This is a scam and she ran out. So I was like, great great start and then I was sitting and getting my nails done and this girl behind me starts screaming at the girl for cutting her nail and she was like you guys did this to my daughter and you now you're doing it to me and the lady that was doing her nails started screaming back at her so they were screaming at one another I'm gonna insert some footage of like me trying to record it low-key but I highly doubt that you can hear it So yeah, I don't know if you can hear, but basically that put a little damper on my experience like right off the get-go. But then my lady came over and she was so sweet and she asked me like what I wanted. She asked me a couple questions. The owner like walked by and complimented my sweatshirt. So I just have such mixed feelings about this nail salon. And then she started doing my nails. And I'm just gonna take the camera to show you guys. Oh, also I'm a pussy and I had them do both my nails. I just didn't have it in me to be like, you know what, just do one hand, so yeah. Okay, and this is the end result, you guys. So my nails were round walking in. Now three of them, I'd say these two are squared and these two are round. And I don't even know what happened here. Like she cut this side, but then kind of filed this side and made it completely uneven. So yeah, um, not a good job. So I religiously get gel, but this time I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do a regular manicure because if I hate it, then it's gonna be easier to remove it. It's just gonna be a bitch to like take off the gel again. So I got all the prices for you guys. The prices at this one was so interesting to me. Um, for gel, it's 35, which is pretty standard, but I feel like I've been to a lot of really good nail salons that are 30 for gel. So that was a little high in my opinion. And then for a manicure, it's $15, which is pretty good. And then $5 extra for a French tip which is like that in every nail salon. And then they added another five for taking off my gel, which I think is pretty standard as well. And then I think it's about 45 for acrylics. So overall, that was not a good experience, honestly. My lady was so nice, she was so sweet. Um, the owner, I think that at least that was the owner because she was walking around kind of like looking at everything. She was really nice too, but this for $25, I could have paid $30 and got really bomb gel, so. Pretty disappointed. Honestly, I was rooting for this nail salon to come out on top, but it just didn't happen today, girl. Okay, guys, I'm on my way to the other nail salon. Honestly, my nails are so bad that I don't even want to get my, just my right hand, so I'm probably just gonna have them redo the whole thing, and then um, I'm just gonna take pictures like individually, because this whole one hand each thing is just, it's not, it's not the tea. Okay guys, I'm arriving at the other nail salon right now. I'm literally like one minute late and they called me, my appointment's at 6.30, it's 6.31, and they called me at 6.30 to ask where I was, so stressed. I'm gonna record a little bit in the inside and then I will see you guys in a little. So I am very happy with this manicure that I got. I chose something a little bit different this time because the lady was recommending it. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna do it. So obviously, like I said before, they're very punctual there. They don't want any of their appointments running late, which is a good thing because if I was in that lady's position, I obviously wouldn't want my appointment to be running late. So that was a good thing. The host there was really nice. He was constantly asking me questions like, do you want water? How's your service? Um, he was reminding me multiple times of how they sanitize their seats and all their instruments that they use, um, especially on the toes. They just throw it away after, which I thought actually was really important. It was almost worth paying a little bit more because if you think about how many people they use those instruments on, it's kind of nasty. So I ended up getting a gel there because I wanted it to last. So their gel there is $40 and their regular manicure is $20 so that's about a $5 difference from the other place I will say that the lady that did my nails she wasn't the nicest um, maybe she was just having an off day or something you don't really know um, when it comes to people like what they're going through but she wasn't the nicest I'd say the lady at the other nail salon was a lot nicer and more inviting and I just felt more comfortable with her Hey guys, it is currently the next morning. I just wanted to close out yesterday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it. I think I spent like five hours in the salon yesterday. After sitting here and thinking about it, I realized that the lady that did my nails at the best reviewed nail salon 
wasn't as nice as the lady who did my nails at the worst reviewed nail salon, which is kind of ironic. But anyways, I think the number one learning lesson from this video is check your reviews. Check your reviews for Yelp, check your reviews for Amazon so you don't end up returning 50 million things if you're getting things for your new apartment like me. And for Yelp, just do your research. Educate yourself about where you're going so you don't end up blindsided and wasting a ton of money. By the way, now that we're on the topic of nails, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I have a nail cam on my Instagram. It's called nail cam. I upload a picture every time I get my nails done and I try to put the name of the nail polish that I use. I feel like it's helpful and it makes the experience less stressful when you're choosing from a bajillion colors at the nail salon um, to see what it looks like on the actual fingernail. Or like not the fingernail but like the skin tone, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, make sure to check out my video on Wednesday because your girl's going to be posting two days a week. On Wednesday and Saturday, you're going to be getting a lot of me. I love you guys so much. Huge shout out to my booze, my beautiful yous for always watching my videos and supporting me. If you'd like to be a part of the Fabu fam, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to follow me in between uploads, my Instagram is at Sigoni Lazaroff. And until then, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.